Welcome back to our Beatrice YouTube channel. Today's this class, we learn how to make these beautiful drapes on a skirt. It's very elegant and very beautiful. So I decorated it with this brooch, but it's actually optional. You can do without it. It's a very simple tutorial and just makes your outfits pop from just a simple outfit to something really beautiful and elegant. If this is what you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To make this drape design, I have my mermaid skirt ready here now. I already have a tutorial on how you can cut and sew a mermaid skirt on the channel. So if you don't know how to, you want to check that out. So now the next thing now is to determine where we want to place these drapes. Okay, so I'm just going to measure from my waistline and then around. So my hip, this is my hip area, so I can just go maybe one or two inches below the hip, or I just place it around here. Okay, so this is around 11 inches so this is going to be the length for my measurement on the sides so to cut this now i can maintain this 11 inches measurement or if you want to add some pleats or gathers to this you can just multiply this measurement by two which is going to be around 22 inches that's 11 times two so which means the width of the fabric that i'm going to be cutting out now is going to be 22 inches and then the length is going to be as much as you want if you want it to fall down to the floor length or you want to increase it that's the that, that's totally up to you okay so i'll be using this onion velvet fabric and like i was saying so this is the width and the length is the length of the velvet fabric so it's around 65 inches in length so i'm just going to be maintaining the length and the width that I have here is around, let me check, this is around 16 inches, but I'm just using this for the purpose of the tutorial. If you want it more than this, I've told us we can increase it by just multiplying that by one and a half inches or two inches. So this is the first one. And then for the second one, it's going to be a bit shorter. So the width remains the same, the same that I'm using for the long one. But the length is just around, so I'm just using this length tentatively. So I can, I'm using around 35 inches, which I, I can still trim off by the time I'm done if it is too long for me. So now, the next thing now is to shape this side. I'm going to be shaping this side. And to shape it now, I'm just going to place the sides of my skirt on this, on, on this pattern like this and then remember i'm going to be showing it inside this skirt pattern so i need to get that exact shape of where i'm sewing it in so i'm just going to be placing it as a pattern now and then i'm going to be trimming off this excess that i have so that i can have the exact shape of this skirt. i hope we get what i'm seeing then i'm going to be loosening this skirt so that i can insert this inside the side seam so that it will be neatly finished so i'm just going to loosen this now and then i'm going to this is how i'm going to be placing it so one hand of this velvet is going to be here so i'm going to sew it inside here like this so i'll place it like this and then I sew it inside so by loosening this and then placing it inside before sewing it back and then the other hand also I'm going to place it like this and then loosen it and sew it inside. So when I've done that, I'm going to show us how we're going to drip this. Okay, so I've gone ahead to loosen this on the side seam because this velvet is just going to enter into the side seam. So now the first thing you need to do is to prepare your velvet by just hemming it. So you hem it on this side. If you want, you aim it here, you aim it here, and probably on the aim line. But I have this salvage on the aim line, so I'm not going to need to aim this. And then my fabric is not so long, so I'll just leave it like this. But if you are not doing this for the purpose of the tutorial, you should aim it if you want. And then also, this shaping is actually not compulsory, you can just leave it straight like that. So now, the next thing is to bring out this seam allowance. And then I'm going to, going to go ahead now and sew this inside the seam allowance. So as I'm sewing it now, remember what I have here is just 11 inches. I just measured 11 inches from the waist measurements. Okay, so what I have here is from here to here is 11 inches. So I'm just going to make it bold. So I know that 
what I have here is around 16 inches, so I'm just going to find my way around it and then pleat or gather the excess around it so that everything here will just fit into this space that I have. So, assuming I'm doubling it, it will be fuller, but because I'm using a velvet fabric, this fabric is actually very good for this kind of drip, so it's still going to give me a full effect despite that it is not so long. So now I'll take this to the machine now so that we can sew this. Okay, so now I'm on the machine. I'm just going to try to pleat it a bit as I'm going. And then like I said, you need to... So I just folded in this so you can just hem it. So I'll just pleat it and then I'll, I'll sew. So the aim is just for me to fit what I have here into the 11 inches mark that I marked earlier. So I'm stopping on this mark. So I'm just sewing and then I'll pleat any excess that I have as I go. Okay. So this I'm on the 11 inches mark. I'm just going to fold the last one also in like this where you should aim it. And then I'm going to spread what I have at first. So after gathering it, I'm just going to bring the back on the front part because I'm sewing this to the front part of the skirt. Okay, so after sewing it like this, I'm just going to bring in the back part now and then put it over it and then sew it close. So that way my velvet has been neatly tucked in between the two fabrics, the two, the front and back. So I'll just place it on it like this and then I'm going to sew. So when you are sewing it, just make sure you arrange it well so that it's not going to be packing anywhere. So you just arrange it well, check underneath it and then you line it well and then sew. So I already have that line where I'm using the sew. I know where I'm supposed to sew. So what I've done here now, I'll do the same to the other side also and then we'll drape it. Okay, so now you can see it has been sewn. You can see the side. It is now in between the front and back. So now the next, depending on the style you are going for, you can actually make the two equal. And then you leave it like this and then you tie it anytime you want. But for the style we have on the thumbnail, which is kind of permanent, if you want it to be shaped anyhow you want, you can just tie it and tie a knot and do something like this. Do any style you want. It depends on you. But if you want it to be static like what we have there. And like I said, remember, I did not put too much. But because I'm using a fever fast brick, it will give it enough drips. So you can see the drips that I have around here. So to do this now, you take, remember, we have a short one and a long one so just watch how i'm going to tie the knot so you bring your short one and then your long one together like this the one with the long length is going to be crossing over this like this then after crossing over it you bring you push it underneath and bring it outwards like this that's a long one and then you knot it a very tight tie and then you adjust it at the side Okay, so after doing this now, this short one, you will pin it down now here and then you take it to the sewing machine and stitch it underneath it so that it will stay very well for you. And then the long one on the upper part also, you pin it and detach it and then you take it to the sewing machine and stitch it down so that this, your knot, you are not going to lose it. It's all this for you. Then after it has held it for you now, make sure it is tight, then you drop this design down. Okay. So you can see the effects that this is giving us. So I just used 16 inches. Remember I said you can multiply the side by 2 or 2 and a half or 3 inches if you want it wider. But even my 16 inches, you can see the beautiful effect this is giving us. So the length depends on how long you want it to be. You can see mine is very long and is even reaching the floor length. But it is entirely dependent on you and what you want. So here now you can just beautify this with a trimming or a brooch. 
okay you can see this silver brooch that i have i'm just going to use it to beautify it i can see how beautiful and gorgeous this came out so this is not compulsory so i'm just hanging it there and you can see what we have so this is the full view of the drip i can see how beautiful this is looking so it doesn't have to be on a mermaid skirt as you can see on the tumbler you can do it on a regular pencil skirt it can be on a short skirt it can be on a dress or whatever it is that you want i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one bye